G'day, welcome back to the Tammy Talk RC. Well, we just had a great afternoon running these RC cars. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we had some uh, mishaps we're going to have to address. Um, but this video isn't about that. Today, we're going to talk about gear pitch and how to measure it. Now, if you already know how to do this, this video is probably not for you. Um, it's probably going to be boring for you. But if you don't know how to measure gear pitch, stay tuned and let's hope you learn something. Okay, so let's talk about gear pitch. I've seen a few posts lately um, from people asking, you know, I've seen somewhere people just put up uh, a picture of a, a spur gear and a, an opinion. Imagine this is opinion gear. Putting up a picture kind of similar to this and asking if anybody knew what pitch gear they had. Um, now, unless you're Cosmo Spacely, you're probably not going to be able to tell what pitch gear you have just by looking at it. Um, if you deal with the same pitch gears all the time, you're probably going to you're probably going to um, identify it pretty quickly. But there is a really simple way uh, to work it out. It's just one simple uh, formula. You do have to do a little bit of math. Um, but it's simple math. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, but first of all, what is pitch? What do they mean by pitch? Well, quite simply, the pitch is the distance between the center line of two of these teeth in your gear. So think about a bolt. I've got a rather large bolt here. Um, oh, and by the way, we're, we're only going to be talking about um, metric gears in this video, um, simply because I don't have any imperial gears uh, to measure. Um, even though this bolt is an imperial bolt, this is a nine and a half inch long by inch and a half, um, very large bolt. Um, I chose this just so that it was easier for you to see. So uh, the pitch of your thread on your bolt, this being an imperial bolt, you'd measure it by TBI, which is threads per inch. But in a metric bolt, you would measure the distance between the two peaks of your threads. And whatever that distance is, is the pitch of your thread of your bolt. And then you go into your bolt shop and you tell them the diameter of your thread and the pitch of your thread, which is the distance between these two peaks. So put that away, very similar to gears. The pitch is the distance between two of these gears. On paper, it's the same thing. And this is on paper. Now, the only trouble there, as you saw in our bolt, this is all in a straight line. So you can, so each of those peaks will be the same distance apart. Uh, just the same as this. But you can measure that and it'll be accurate. Well, imagine this is a gear rack, like a lineal gear rack. You could measure your um, pitch on a gear rack and it will stay consistent all the time. But when you're measuring pitch on a round gear, I've drawn a crude section of a gear here. If we get a straight edge, I have my center point here, if we mark roughly center of two of our teeth on our gear and we draw a line from the center of our gear through the center of two of these teeth. Obviously you can see that the distance here is smaller than the distance here that's very very obvious so where do you measure like we said the the pitch is the distance between two of these teeth that is your pitch value so where do you measure it well it's a very simple equation so this is the equation here p equals p d over n can you see that let me get back in the frame. 
P equals PD divided by N. See? Simple. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'm just kidding. All right, so what does this all mean? Well, P obviously stands for pitch. Pitch being the distance between our two teeth. PD equals, or means, pitch diameter. N is your number of teeth on the gear. Your total number of teeth on the gear. So, pitch diameter. What exactly is pitch diameter? Now, your first thought might be your distance or your overall diameter of your gear. So, this is a gear out of a uh, frog gearbox. Um, you might think pitch diameter is your overall diameter of your gear. It's actually not. Um, you don't measure gears by their overall diameter. Although their diameter does uh, factor in how they actually work and how they um, uh, adjust ratio, if you like. So your pitch diameter is really quite simply this. On my crude drawing here, I've got an outside diameter of a gear, outside diameter of a gear, and down in between the gear teeth, we have this section down here. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the uh, terminology of um, what makes up a gear. This is all about measuring your your pitch and how to measure your pitch. Okay, so we're just going to call this the outer diameter of the gear. We're going to call this the inner diameter of the gear, which is your trough. Call that a peak. Call that a trough. Okay. Now, where do you measure your pitch diameter? Diameter is obviously the width of a circle. So where do you measure that? Well, your pitch diameter is actually, I have this already set, your pitch diameter is there. Your pitch diameter value is half of your overall tooth length. That's not quite half. I didn't really take much time into setting my compass here. Okay, so I said you don't measure gears by by their diameter, but you do need to know the diameter to work out your pitch diameter. So we'll take this gear, we'll measure this on the outside diameter, we're just using simple terminology here, outside diameter, that gives me 42.9, we'll call it 42.9, so we come down here, if you can see, our OD of our gear is 42.9 millimeters. Now, I said we're working in metric, these are module gears, right? Uh, if we were working in uh, imperial, these would be uh, diametral pitch gears. I don't have any DP gears, so we're just doing this. And at the end of this video, I'll show you the uh, formula uh, to work out the pitch from your diametral uh, pitch gears, you form your DP gears, from your imperial gears. It's very similar. Just these two are in these two values are inverted, and that's pretty much the only difference. So our OD is 42.9. Now our what we're going to call our ID, our inside diameter, which would be the bottom of the addendum. Like I said, we're not really going to get into the uh, terminology of everything. So if we take our verniers. Obviously, if you had a if you had a really big gear, you had to measure like if it was like a a, a meter in diameter, uh, you could just do this with um, with a simple tape measure. But since we're working with small gears, we're going to use our verniers. So you just need to find the trough two troughs on opposite sides of the gear. And then we take that measurement. So that gives us 39, you can't see this, but it's 39, 39.5, that's lining up to, roughly anyway. So our ID, 39.5. Now, 
The other thing you need, because, well, I do anyway, because I'm not very good with math, is a calculator, but I, I have an organic calculator standing right next to me. Now, cameraman Zach, say hello, Zach. Hello. So, what we need to do in our first bit of equation, right, is take 42 point, oop, start again, 42.9 minus 39.5, which gives us that? 3.4. 3.4 millimetres. So the difference between our outside diameter and our inside diameter is 3.4 millimetres. Okay. So meaning this distance here is 3.4 millimetres. Can you still see that? I'm struggling to stay in the frame here. I'm sorry. Um, I hope I'm not uh, over simple, over complicating a very simple process. I probably am. Okay, so we have 3.4 millimeters for our total depth of our tooth. Now we need to halve that value, which will give us right. So we our next bit of equation here. I'm writing all over the place here. 3.4 over 2, which will give us that 1.7. 1.7 millimeters. Now, we know that this distance here, or this distance here, is 1.7 millimetres. Now you have to take either your OD or your ID, it really doesn't matter, but you have to do it the right way. So if we take our OD, 42.9 minus 1.7, which that gives us? 41.2. 41.2. So now that we know our pitch diameter, this one here, our pitch diameter is 41.2 millimetres. Okay, so if we do this little equation again, we'll do it down here. Pitch equals 41.2 divided by N, our number of teeth. Now on this gear, it should be printed on there somewhere. There it is, 52. Right. 52 teeth, the, this gear has 52 external teeth. There's teeth on the inside. If you know frogs, you know exactly what you're looking at. So, divided by 52. You, know, you might need a calculator for that one, mate. A little bit less than 0 0.8. A little bit less than 0 0.8. So, p, pitch equals our pitch diameter, which is 41.2, divided by the number of teeth on the gear, which is 52, which gives us... 0 0.792 0 0.792 0 0.792 which is close enough to 0 0.8 so this gear is a 0 0.8 module gear does that make sense? now we can do the same thing with this gear I already know what the pitches in this gear. This is a gear out of a uh, sand scorcher. I already know that this is a 0.6 module gear. This equation here will work for the same gear. Your outside diameter of the gear and your inside diameter of the gear, these two, split the difference, take that away from your outside diameter which will give you your pitch diameter. Divide your pitch diameter by the number of teeth. In this case, it's 70. And you will end up with pretty close to 0.6. So this is a 0.6 module gear. This is a 0.8 module gear. Now, as I said, this is... I really hope I made that really, really simple and easy to understand. Uh, if I can understand it, anybody can. So the, the, the formula for your uh, diametral pitch... Okay, so we write it down here. Diametral pitch equals, all you're doing is inverting these two values. Right? So that's number of teeth divided by your pitch diameter of your imperial gear. Now, you do need to measure it in imperial increments. You can't measure it in, um, you can't do the sum using metric values. You do need to do it in imperial values. But it's the... It works out exactly the same. It's there's really no difference to it. All you need to do is swap these two over. So for module, 
Your pitch diameter is divided by the number of teeth. Diametral pitch, your number of teeth is divided by the pitch diameter. And that's how you work out what pitch your gears are. So next time you need to order a gear, if you want to go faster or do a speed run, or even if you just broke a gear and you need to buy a new one, or you lost your pinion out of your kit, any kind of scenario, uh, you don't just go to the shop and say, I want a, a 42.9 mil gear with 50 teeth on it. Um, they're going to go, okay. So next time, you know how to measure your gear. Now, obviously, I, I don't have any pinion gears here. They're all upstairs, sorry. Obviously, the pinion gear is going to be... All right, this is our spur gear here. Your pinion gear is going to be a lot smaller than the spur gear. Your gear pitch is still going to remain exactly the same. Otherwise, they won't mesh. This is a 0.8 module gear. This is a 0.6 module gear. Hopefully, you can see. You might even be able to hear it. You're probably not going to hear it. Obviously, you, well, hopefully, you can obviously see that those two gear pitches will not mesh. Now, we made the mistake of assuming that a 0.6 module gear is the same as a 48 DP gear. They are not. If you're running, and I've seen a lot of people do this in the speed run, not a lot, but a few. Um, if you're running these gears at very slow RPM, you will get away with it. But as soon as you start inducing a lot of RPM into these gears, that's where you strip gears and things sound bad and you're going to have a bad day. So do not mix module gears with diametral pitch gears. They just do not work together. It's trying. It's like trying to screw a metric bolt into an imperial thread. Yeah, you'll get it if you've got enough determination, but it's just not right. So really, that's it. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully that helped a lot of you because uh, a part of this channel really is education and trying to teach people how to do things and learning things. And like the, the great Gene Winfield would say, every day is a school day. So I hope you learned something and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.